Once upon a time, in a wild, wild world, there were two wolf brothers living in their home lair with their papa wolf. They lived in peace until hunters took their dad away. The wolf brothers wandered for days and nights, learning how to live on their own for the first time. That's when the big brother discovered that the little one was not an ordinary wolf, but a super wolf. They decided to head south to the distant land of their ancestors. But the journey was long and dangerous. Still, the Wolf Brothers made new friends on the way. They learned more about the world. But danger seemed to always follow them after a bad accident. They were separated. The big brother had been hurt, and the hunters finally captured him. They put him in a cage, but when he finally escaped, he went to search for his little brother. He soon found out that the little wolf had joined a coyote cult, and he would not leave them. Suddenly, their mother showed up after all that time. She said she came to help rescue him. They begged the coyote leader, but she would not release the little wolf. He was their idol. So they had to knock her out to escape. The Wolf Brothers, now reunited, followed their rogue mother far into the desert to her hideaway. Das war ein Rückblick auf die vierte Episode, wo wir ja äh, Daniel aus einer fanatischen christlichen Kommune befreien mussten und befreien konnten. Am Ende wurde die, äh, die Kirche in Brand gesetzt, was ich ein wenig, äh, was ich ein wenig extrem fand. Aber ja, jetzt schauen wir uns erstmal hier diese Aussicht an. Ich finde, die Lichteffekte sehen sehr, sehr schön aus. Und guten Morgen übrigens an Eri. Ähm, du hast recht, <lacht> endlich können wir den Bildschirm sehen. Hast mir vorhin ein kleiner Fauxpas unterlaufen. Aber ich hoffe, jetzt sollte alles funktionieren. Wenn es noch am Ton etwas zu mäkeln gibt, dann bitte einfach melden. Hey, wake up, Sean. Dude, come on. What? What time is it? Get up! It's so beautiful. Check it out. <laughs> so? <sighs> yeah, okay. Good call. Wow. That's amazing. I know. Is your eye okay? Yeah. It just itches. It's okay, Nano. I... Promise. Yeah. Uh, okay. I love you. No matter what happens. You hear me? Yeah. I love you too. Ow! 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 Ow!
<laughs> Diaz brothers. Always. So, are you still having those bad dreams? You know, about Lisbeth? Yeah. Sometimes, I feel like she's around, coming after me. It's scary. Dude, I bet she's having nightmares about you. Yeah, but she's still out there. Somewhere. Creeps me out. Listen. We're far away from her, okay? We're together again. Safe. Hope so. Sean. Are we criminals now? Sort of. We did a lot of... Illegal shit. If the cops catch us, we'll be judged for what we did. That's for sure. Yeah. I know. Well, we're almost at the border. Finally. I like it here, but we'll have to leave soon. I know. I'm sorry, Anna. Sean, I know it's been a long time. Can you tell me the rest of the wolf story? Oh, yeah, I can tell you. <sighs> been forever since we left off. Way too long. Hmm, let's see. Oh yeah, okay. So, thanks to their mama wolf, the wolf brothers, barely escaped from the coyote cult. She led them to her secret lair, deep in the red desert. The wolf brothers rested for a while, but at some point, they'd have to continue their journey south. They were closer than ever to their father's land, but between them and their destination, lied a mighty fire unicorn. <laughs> But she's nice, so they become friends. <laughs> uh, um, excuse me. Who's telling the story? You are. But it's my story too. Right? <laughs> Dude, this is my version. You can make your own. Okay. Cool. So, <clears throat> the Wolf Brothers finally see the edge of their new home. Okay, okay. I gotta think of my own version first, so you don't influence me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Stephen King Jr., get on that. After we pack this shit up and head back to town. Gotta clean up our stuff before we leave. And this place is too pretty. So, jetzt wo wir uns das noch mal einsehen können, fällt mir wieder auf, wie schön ich äh, die Umgebung gestaltet finde. This place is cool. I could just move here. Hey, I can help. Just tell me what you want to put in there. You are the man. Activate flashlight. Dafür, dass das Spiel ja grafisch nicht, nicht so richtig äh, hoch, hochwertig ist, äh, bekommt man aber die Lichtstimmung eigentlich immer ganz gut hin. Da brauchen wir nichts. Let's clean up this mess. 
Not if it cleans up by itself. Stop. Daniel. Can't catch it, huh? No shit. Now cut it out. Jeez. You're no fun. Yo, Captain Can, can you take these away? Sure. And no funny business. Of course not. Perfect. Send ich mal eine eine gut gute ein Einsatz Einsatzweise für Daniels äh, Kräfte. I swear Dad at that same book in the garage. Oh, yeah, aber das finde ich ganz cool. Das Feature in dem Spiel, das maybe it reminded him of Mom too much. Schon oh. richtig schön schön zeichnen kann. Yeah. Right. Zwar jetzt etwas eingeschränkt durch seine Augenverletzung, aber er macht das immer noch ziemlich gut. My back hurts a little. I'm glad we're sleeping in our bed tonight. Ooh, sketching time. Good idea. Von daher werden wir jetzt ein wenig zeichnen. I'm glad you can still draw after. Man sieht die linke Seite durch die Augenverletzung äh, ziemlich eingeschränkt. I can see it in my mind. I can still sketch anything. Almost. So, jetzt That's haben wir uns so die Umgebung cool. gemerkt und bringen sie zu drawing. Papier. Ever. <laughs> Thanks, man. This is so cool. Hmm. Pretty good. But I can add more details if I want. Dann bringen wir ein paar mehr Details ins Bild. Na, no, das sieht doch schon ziemlich cool aus. Hey, can you draw me as a superhero? Like striking a pose over the canyon. So, hmm. jetzt können wir noch etwas ins Bild try. malen. Die Entscheidung natürlich für die krasse Variante. Ruff looks cool, but messy. Lass uns nochmal die Umgebung genau anschauen. This power is so cool. I love tie dyeing stuff now. Na, das würde ich mir direkt ausdrucken und an die Wand Let me check it out. Jeez. Do I really look that evil? He looks more like a super villain. Oh, hätte ich vielleicht eher die andere Variante nehmen sollen. Schade. So, was müssen wir denn noch machen? Unser Ziel ist, wie gesagt, erstmal hier alles aufzuräumen, damit wir dann los können. Packen wir schnell unser Sketchbook ein. Well, let's hit the trail, Cowboy. What are you doing? Dude, we don't have time to play. Come on, let's go. Okay, okay. Na, wir sind heute der strenge Großbruder. Ich glaube, dem, dem kleinen Daniel muss man ein wenig Disziplin beigebracht werden. Ari und ich sind uns ja einig, dass äh, Sean ein ziemlich, ziemlich frecher kleiner Bruder ist. <lacht> That's what you get for taking a piss when the only one fell. I know. He tried to warn me. At least we got to see Mars. That was so cool. Arthur and Stanley let us use the telescope. Yeah. He's Aber auch hier wieder cool. eine ziemlich richtig schöne Umgebung. Gezeichnet. Richtig schöne Lichtstimmung.
Think Joanne will let me help her with her sculpture when we get back? Hell yeah. You're like the magic assistant. It's nice to be able to use my power out here. Not hide it. Yeah. Karen was right. They're all cool with it. Mom doesn't say much about my power. Why do you think? Hmm. I think she's in denial. What do you mean? Karen... kind of acts like you don't have a power. Maybe she doesn't want to believe it. I don't get it. <laughs> I hear you. <laughs> Helfen wir noch dem Bruder hier runter zu kommen. You know I could have done it by myself, right? Hey, let me be the cool, helpful big brother once in a while. Oh, looks like look, a job for our local look. super oh, psychic boy. I just saw a cool baby lizard. Yeah, and you scared it. I know. Hey. So, maybe you can help us get out of here? Mm, I'll try. Step back. Be super careful. <sighs> there you go. I hope it's okay. <laughs> nice, man. Aber wie scheint, äh, scheint sich Daniel ja wieder ein wenig eingekriegt zu haben. Also speziell in Episode 2 und 3 war er super aufmüpfig. Go for it. I have to bring back the telescope to Stanley and Arthur. Went to town for weekly supplies. Some pancakes left in the kitchen. <laughs> back soon. Oh yeah, pancakes when is super. Da bekomme ich ja glatt wieder Hunger. Aber das wird wohl erst was, nachdem wir das Ganze abgeschlossen haben. Und das wird sicherlich noch eine Daniel, Weile dauern. Yeah, I read you. I have a pancake alert in the kitchen. Repeat. Pancake alert. Oh, man. Sorry. I was gonna eat with Joanne. Over and out. 10-4. No flying pancakes today. Oh, keine Pancakes. Nice mess. <laughs> Daniel will never change. Still can't believe she's kept it. It's nice to play games with Daniel again. <laughs> Karen likes to join us too.
Karen has been camping in her own house since we arrived. So, was ist denn gerade unser Ziel? Wir müssen abfinden und wir müssen nach Daniel sehen. Okay. Beides habe ich so ungefähr im Kopf, wo das ist. Das ist der Vorteil an einer parallelen Timeline. Made him feel so happy. One thing Claire and Karen have in common. Aber trotzdem wollen wir uns alles hier in Ruhe anschauen, damit wir auch nichts verpassen. Auch für die Leute, die vielleicht später einschalten oder später eingeschaltet haben. I totally forgot about that key. Whoa. I should have gone through that flash drive weeks ago. Okay, ein USB Stick. Ach, super, Mathe Hausaufgaben. Misty Mice Tickets PDF. Mal sehen, wo hier die Pornos versteckt sind. Ja, sicherlich bei anderen Kram. Na schade, ich kann die Ordner nicht öffnen und das PDF nicht aufrufen. Das wäre bestimmt lustig gewesen. Karen letting us invade her space after all these years. Ja, Eerie ärgert mich derweil und schickt mir Bilder von Pancakes. Gotta keep my eye loop handy. Glad I don't need it as much. Sehr, sehr frech. She changed my diapers, but it feels kind of awkward to be here. Aber zumindest sagt sie mir damit, dass äh, mein Ton stimmt. Da bin ich ja schon mal sehr beruhigt. Glad they're back on track. Hm. I'll always have a crew out there. So good to have a home. Again. And a real bed. I'm so glad Jacob and his sister are doing okay. They deserve some peace. Ja, Jacobs Schwester haben wir in der letzten Episode auch aus dieser christlichen Kommune befreien können. Denn die Kleine ist leider sehr krank gewesen. Ich glaube eine Lungenentzündung. Aber Stanley probably want their telescope back. Die Verantwortlichen der Kommune wollten sie nicht zu einem Arzt bringen, sondern wollten sie mit Hilfe von äh, Gott heilen. Morning, Sean. Morning, guys. Deswegen haben wir sie zum Glück befreit. I thought there was only vultures in the desert. So, da bringen wir erstmal das Teleskop zurück. Hey, what's up? Morning, Sean. Join us. Have a seat. Hey, just in time for our special desert brew. And dust free. Thanks. So much. Sean, it's too early to be so awake. No kidding. Hey, how was your sleepover in the canyon? <laughs> Amazing. We watched the sunrise. Daniel loved it too. That's my favorite view out here. It's like ancient times, but it never gets old. Unlike us, darling. I can you'll be here long after we're gone. Hope you looked up. We did. Thanks for hooking us up. <laughs> Anytime. Even my daughter Becky loves to stargaze when she visits us. That's the only way to get Arthur to camp now. Becky is the real astronomer in the family. Wonder where she got this. From her mom, probably. Hope you guys get to meet Becky. Does she come 
visiting often? Not as much as I'd want. Can't really blame her. But you know, well, some parts of the year, this place is full of friends and family. Christmas, for example. So, why did you come out here? Because we got tired of people's bullshit. Things change. But being gay is still dangerous. The end. Sean, I'm almost 60, and I was a happily married man for 20 years until I came out. I don't blame my family for being in shock, but I didn't think they'd disown me. My other daughters won't even talk to me anymore. So why stay? <sighs> After we got together, we both had serious breakdowns. Then we got the hell out of the Bay Area for the better. I hear that. I'm just so fucking tired of running. I hope me and Daniel find our own away. You will. People come here to reset their life, become the person they want to be or used to be. You're smart. You'll figure out your next direction. Right, Gramps? Speak for yourself, Grandpa. My body might be 59, but I'm 25. <laughs> uh-huh. I'll remember that on the next hike. I'm gonna see what Daniel's up to. Thanks for the desert, Brew. These two remind me of Claire and Steven. In a weird, hippie version. Ich hatte es ja schon mal gesagt, aber was ich... What were you doing at Oscar and Stanley's place? You're a little too young to be stalking me, dude. Um, you know what? I saw them kissing the other day. Kind of weird. You know it's actually normal for people in love to kiss, right? I know. I just mean... They're really cute together. I hope somebody cares about me like that when I get old. But hey, artist, come by Joanne's place. We're making wild sculptures. <laughs> hold up. I'll be over in a minute. Love the energy out here. With everyone building stuff as they please. Ja, was ich gerade sagen wollte, was ich sehr cool finde an der gesamten Life Strange Reihe ist, dass man sich traut, äh, auch ziemlich äh, polarisierende gesellschaftliche Themen anzusprechen. Also allein in dem Spiel hier wurde schon angesprochen, Polizeigewalt, Rassismus, fanatische Religiosität und ja, jetzt die Probleme von äh, Homosexualität, die leider aber noch bestehen, also speziell in den Südstaaten von Amerika. Das Spiel ist sich nie zu schade, auch solche Themen anzusprechen, was ich echt gut finde. Karen und Joanne spenden Evenings playing and chatting. Kind of like me and Lila. Back in the day. Dude. Remember when you totally fell asleep during that Bollywood flick? Because it was so lame after those cool cartoons. <laughs> Whatever. You missed Priya and Stanley teaching me how to dance. No, I didn't. You can't dance, dude. <laughs> Glad to see that artists are allowed to make a mess. So, da haben wir up, Joanne? Joanne und Daniel. Hey, check this out. Okay, Daniel, let's take a little break. Got it. That child is something special. Yeah, I hear this one a lot. Don't worry. Mm, yeah, I bet. <laughs> but you have your own talent, Sean. I'm dead serious. It's nothing special compared to what he has. Well, 
What he has is some next-level sci-fi shit, Sean. You can't compare yourself to him. None of us can. But what you have is a precious gift that will guide you through this cosmogonic mess. If you let it. Did you always want to be an artist? <laughs> Good grief, no. I tried very hard not to be one. Till I realized it was useless. Listen, if you want to be an artist, you will be. It's not always easy, but in the end, it's pretty fucking cool. Speaking of, do you mind giving me a hand here? Oh, uh, I don't know if I can. Yes, you can. I just need your input, okay? <sighs> okay. Sure. Hey, jetzt haben wir wieder eine kleine Puzzleaufgabe ah, vor uns. Now, go stand over there. Daniel, you ready to start again? Oh, yes. Hold on. So, for my next trick, I'd love to see if you can connect these three pieces. I've made a model of what I have in mind here. But go ahead and be the artist. And we don't need a crane to lift this stuff. <laughs> Daniel can snap these together like block toys. Hell yeah. Let's do this. Okay. Man. I thought my art was weird. Hmm. Now, let's move Mr. Pancake's head onto the pedestal. You got it. Ich bin mir nicht mehr ganz sicher, wie die Reihenfolge war. Maybe Aber das. The same bottom piece, don't you think? Daniel. You know, oh, das werden wir bestimmt herausfinden. Now, let's throw on that spider. Watch this. Oh, I see where you're going with this. Clever. Okay, Daniel. Can you slam dunk the earth ball onto the base? Too far from the original. I feel like we're almost done. Well, I think this is it. Looks good to me. Only if the muse approves. Not what I had in mind, but it's still cool. <laughs> you did a great job, Inanna. Well, Sean, Daniel, uh, abstract I think it might be in your family so sein, wie There's no escape. As I'm not gonna have I think we're done for the day. Thank you so much for your help. Okay. That was fun. Joanna's so chill about her art. That's what makes her talented. I bet you would like Minecraft. It, it, it's kind of like this. Yeah, I've read about it. It's a video game, right? Yes, and you can build whatever you want in it. Ooh, you have to show me then. Precarious patriot, shrouded in dust. You okay, Joanne? Yeah, as fine as frogs here, sweetie. I like to take a good look at a piece after I'm done working on it. Uh, it helps me connect with it. Cool. Well, thanks for letting me be a part of it. Oh, thank you, Sean. See you around, hon. That's cool, Joanne trusted me to help build her sculpture.
So, was ist denn unser nächstes Ziel? Das konnten wir zum Glück alles recht schnell abhaken. Gut, als nächstes wird Karen zurückkommen. Sie ist ja Lebensmittel holen. Das heißt, wir werden mal bei ihrem no what Trailer warten. Karen did hook us up here. Aber zuerst versuchen wir mal ein wenig Zeit verstreichen zu lassen. It's kind of like a desert mirage. You think you can see it, but the closer you get, it changes. I thought the people here would be like freaks, but they're just sick of the bullshit. Now I sound like a local. I guess I'm always gonna be a visitor. <laughs> Super Wolf to Professor D. Copy. I hit something super cool for you to find. Will you accept this quest to find my secret treasure? Ten four. Okay. You're on it, Nano. Yes. Great, Sean. Listen carefully. You must find the two items that will reveal where the treasure is. Deal. So for the first item is near the place with many wings that cannot fly. Oh, aber das bestimmt that, die Windmühle gemeint. Your clue? You can do it, big brother. <laughs> I hope. And don't bother checking mom's trailer. It's outside! So, dann haben wir schon mal das erste Teil gefunden. Ahoy, matey. I found a map of a way. Ah, hallo und guten Morgen, Lady Lilith. Äh, uh, Jay ist wieder in Stress gefallen am Ende seines, seines Streams. Was ist denn passiert? Hat er vergessen, jemanden zu raiden oder, uh, was war da am Ende so stressig? Aber es ist ja gut, wenn du schon Stress gewöhnt bist, denn äh, hier im Stream lief auch nicht alles so glatt. Deswegen müssen wir jetzt ein paar Dinge nachholen, die wir beim letzten Mal schon gemacht hatten. Aber das geht zum Glück alles, alles ganz fix. So. Das nächste hin oder das hm, nächste, was wir finden müssen, ist bei den Solarpanelen. Ich weiß noch nicht mehr so genau, wo die waren. Ah, da sind sie ja. Naja, überzieht ein paar Minuten und vergisst dann zu raiden. Ja, sonntags passieren uns, glaube ich, allen äh, Fauxpas. Von daher ist das ja gar nicht so schlimm. Aber umso schöner, dass du trotzdem äh, nochmal hergekommen bist. Okay, das scheint eine Schattkarte zu sein. Und das Ziel 
ist mit einem X markiert. Ich hoffe, wir brauchen nicht so lange, um... And it's a tracing paper sheet with a red cross. Um das Ziel zu finden, wie beim letzten Mal. Oh, holy lady. I think I have the whole treasure map. Aber ich vermute, ich weiß noch, wo das ist. Looks like something's buried here. Und ja, da du aufs Finale yes. zusteuerst, geht Lilith mal in den Artikel Spoiler Lurk. Das ist natürlich völlig in Ordnung, Lilith. Um, I'm not a prospector, but it looks like the real deal. Jetzt so das mal schön getanzt. Like in Fortnite. So haben wir das also auch gemacht. So, nur mal kurz schauen, was die Ziele sind. Okay, wir sollen immer noch auf Karens Rückkehr warten. Und sie scheint auch schon auf dem Weg zurück zu sein. Dann machen wir uns doch mal bereit. Weil ich glaube, da kommt der Truck an, also können wir auch da warten. empty that truck this is such a weird fucking place but that's what's cool about it going to that small town for supplies always bums me out hey what's up hey good morning <laughs> howdy Sean how was the town trip <laughs> hate these trips People look at us as if we're aliens. Here come the sand people. <laughs> the deserters have returned with offerings from Das Kapital. Jolie! <laughs> oh, I missed you. Next time, you're coming with us. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Looking good. What's your secret? Defying death on a daily basis. And hydrating. Oh, right. Can't forget your goodies. Hey, <laughs> thanks, Angel. <laughs> Here. Ah, uh, you're the man, Karen. Catch you later. Take care. Hey, so how did you guys like your night in the canyon? <sighs> It was amazing. So many stars. So quiet. Good call, Karen. I knew you'd like it. 
Stargazer. Glad you got to see that. Hi, Mom. How was the town? Town life always sucks. <laughs> but we got something for you. Think fast. Whoa, yes! Thanks, David. <laughs> you want to play catch, Danny boy? Totally. Me and Dad always used to play. But I'm way better now. No matter what he's been through, he just wants to be a kid <laughs> and play. Yep, Daniel hasn't been like this in forever. You've all been a good influence on him. About time you boys went camping. Hope Daniel didn't get scared by all the critters. Yeah, not anymore. He's seen a lot worse. And that made him tougher. And he can defend himself. You're right. And he does like to show off. Maybe too much. <laughs> You boys have been here over a month, and I still can't get over Daniel's... <sighs> ...skills. Me neither, but I never figured it out, so I don't try anymore. Well, take it from an old soldier. But you trained him well. He's a good kid. <sighs> Thanks. I tried my best. <sighs> I guess it's reassuring, but what do I know? Never met someone with a superpower before. I try to be a good influence. Not always easy, but he listens to me. I don't know if I did right. Guess you never really know. <sighs> Listen, raising a kid is the toughest job in the world. Trust me, combat was easier. It's cool, we uh, unterschiedlich, but authentic, so the Leute in dem Spiel umgehen mit den äh, mit diesen unrealistischen Superkräften. Oh. You didn't tell me you were married. I uh, used to be. She died a few years ago. I'm sorry. Yeah. That's life. But at least I got an angry stepdaughter in the deal. <laughs> We were like oil and water and she was always starting shit. I guess that's hard for a kid to get a new father. Especially one like me. I just had no clue how to deal with her. Wish I did. But we eventually made our peace. Anyway, we can't go back. <sighs> nope. Thanks for talking, David. Better start my delivery now. Found some weird snacks in town. Arthur's gonna freak. <laughs> Catch you later, Sean. <sighs> okay, time out. Oh my God, I'm gonna melt. That was awesome, Mom. Now I know why they don't play baseball in the desert. You throw way better than Sean. <laughs> <laughs> We're not done out here yet. Let's get this food inside before it melts. No problem. She is so cool. You think? <laughs> Joanne is so cool. Stanley's so cool. The heat is so cool. <laughs> You're way too easy, bro. Whatever. Can't help it if I like Karen. <laughs> just be you and I know. I'm just saying. Don't get too cozy here. This is a... That's the hit ziemlich uh, cool is. This is natürlich genau mein, genau mein Humor. Admit, I do miss that Pacific Northwest weather sometimes. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> You've been here over a month now. What do you think of our little oasis? <sighs> This place is like another world. Don't even know how to describe it. 
I think you just did. It has a unique atmosphere. That's why people come here from all over the country for their own reasons. Not perfect, but it works. Hope it's worth it. It's not easy to live as outcasts. Off the grid? Clearly not. We ought to be almost self-sufficient. And it's a very lonely life. It's cool you found your safe space. I guess. You can't escape reality. Even here. We just live slightly apart from it. I couldn't live here for too long. It feels... Disconnected. Maybe I'm too young. <laughs> oh, I understand. It's not a starting point. It's more a place to sit back and let go. Well, thanks for bringing us here. Oh, Sean. I'm glad I was able to help you. <laughs> By the way, can you grab your brother so we can all talk? Is everything okay? Uh, yeah, I just thought we could spend this day together. Just the three of us. Big brother to Superwolf. We need you at Karen's trailer. Copy? Sure. I mean, 10-4. <laughs> okay, damit haben wir auch fast schon alles wieder aufgeholt. Hola, compadre. How about a trek around the canyon today? You in? Totally. Let's pack then. Es hat zum Glück gar nicht so lange gedauert. Ähm Und ja, dann können wir mit ungefähr einer Stunde Verspätung eigentlich wieder da ansetzen, wo wir beim letzten Mal schon einmal waren. Und ihr könnt jetzt die schönen Bilder mitverfolgen. Ich will vorher nur noch mal schnell checken, ob da noch alles stimmt. Ja, soweit ich sehe, auf dem Kontrollmonitor passt alles. Dann bin ich mal ruhig. should have camped near that little creek. It was so perfect. Nah. You'll need a good night's sleep after all this. And the car's just half a mile down the path. This place makes for a pretty cool bedroom, though. Man. I'm beat. Oh, sorry. Just got one last thing to show you guys. I can't get enough of this place. <sighs> Come on, Daniel. Give me your hand. <clears throat> Slow down, Mom. You walk too fast. More walk, less talk. Then you'll pass me up. <sighs> Guys, check this out. Now this is nature's art. It's so big and pretty and so quiet. Except for the birds of prey. Shh. Listen. Serious? If we're lucky. Yeah. Oh! Oh, oh! Uh oh. I hear a wolf. Better be careful of hunters out here. The wolf brothers can't be trapped. You'd help us. You must hide all the time, Mom. There's not a lot to do, but it's enough for me. Good thing Joanne likes to come with me. Oh, I bet she would be fun to go hiking with. Well, not when I go too fast. She's all about the journey. We usually find a good pace. Um, <laughs> usually. Joanne is like Sean. They make art, so they stop to look at stuff. You're way more like me. Fast. Yeah, I am like you, Daniel. So let's hurry up. Ah, 
I love to come here to get away from... <laughs> away. <laughs> I bet. It's the best spot. <laughs> Let's sit down. So, hey, I do appreciate that you guys stuck around this long. Thank you. So, now that you know us better, do you kind of regret leaving and everything? I made a decision to never have regrets. Although, you two would be the best reason Just know I love both of you so much, and I'm proud of who you are, and where you're going. Karen, be honest. Do you think we'll make it to Mexico? You made it this far, going through hell. I hope so, Sean. You both deserve it. But I have to be upfront with both of you. What happened in Haven Point is catching up on us. Huh? What do you mean? When we were in town, uh, we saw some stories in the papers. The feds are definitely tracking us down in the region. Shit. And they'll find us. Well... Figures. This can last forever. So... This is it? See you, Nana. We'll leave tomorrow. Can you hand me that bag, Sean? That's why I brought you back here. I made these for the 4th of July, but this is better. Oh, I love those things. Let's light up the sky. Das sieht natürlich super schön aus, auch mit der Lichtstimmung und so in der Nacht. Das wird Umweltschützer auf jeden Fall nicht freuen. Auch hier natürlich echt cool, dass äh, Engel seine Kräfte so einsetzen kann, damit das Ganze noch stimmungsvoller wirkt.
Wir müssen jetzt also uns von allen Leuten verabschieden. Heute berechnen wir auf in Richtung Puerto Lobos. Um, are you guys all set up to leave? No. So that's we have to leave again. I think... I'm kind of scared. Oh, oh honey. How far is the border? Not that far. Uh, maybe a five or six hours drive. It won't be easy crossing that border. So I'm gonna give you a head start on the police. Wait, how? What's your plan? The cops are after me too for what happened in Nevada. So they can catch me instead of you. Fair trade. Mom. We'll go to jail for helping us. It's not about me right now. We need to get your asses to Puerto Lobos. Oh, that's natürlich äh, eine schwerwiegende, schwerwiegende Entscheidung. Natürlich eigentlich super unfair, dass äh, Karen sich äh, quasi verhaften lässt, um uns den Rücken frei zu halten. Auch wenn sie den Brüdern so viel angetan hat. You don't have to do this, Karen. I let you guys down before. Not this time. I knew what I was doing when I came to Haven Point looking for your brother. I felt it was the right thing to do. And I feel the same today. I tried to live by my own rules. <laughs> no matter what. I don't expect you boys to be like me. Try to stay true to yourselves. This is your life. Don't let anybody get in the way. I don't know. Dad didn't raise us this way. He was a rebel, but he wasn't a criminal. He didn't teach us to say, fuck it. Esteban yeah. had a lot more faith in the He's system. still daddy's boy. I had to do shit my own way. Look, I only want you and Daniel to get what you deserve. Okay, this is the last roundup. Wait, let me say bye to Joanne. All right, I'm gonna go do one last checkup on the truck before you hit it. And don't forget what we talked about. It's your life, Sean. Uh, you should go see David. He has something for you. Okay. So, hier können wir jetzt einen Abschiedsbrief schreiben. Das finde ich auch eine ganz schöne Geste. Ich finde auch, wir sollten hier äh, den Charakter ein wenig weiterentwickeln. Mittlerweile finde ich, ist es ist angebracht, dass er Karen wieder als Mom bezeichnet und sich so ein bisschen mit ihr versöhnt hat. Hey, das finde ich eine ganz schöne Charakterweiterentwicklung. It took me some time, but I think I get why you are who you are. Maybe we're not that different. Please don't give up on your freedom, okay? It's the best thing you've taught us. 
We'll reach it once we find our own freedom. Thank you so much. Love. Sean. So, das ist doch ein ziemlich, ziemlich schöner Brief. Auch wieder mal äh, ein Kompliment an die deutsche Synchronisation. Finde ich es ziemlich gut gelungen, aber das ist ja eigentlich in allen bisherigen Life is Strange Spielen ne, so gewesen. Ich sehe, äh, Simon ist auch im Chat. Hallo Simon. Ähm, wir spielen hier das Finale von Life is Strange 2. Und das ist natürlich sehr schön, dass du mit einschaltest, um dich jetzt zur Mittagszeit einfach ein bisschen berieseln zu lassen. Denn Life is Strange ist ja quasi ein interaktiver Film, den man gar nicht so viel machen muss. Look at that. They won't ever leave us alone. Ah, hier sieht man das, was äh, Karen vorhin schon erwähnt hat. Die Polizei ist uns auf den Fersen, weswegen wir eben auch schnell verschwinden müssen. Can't be that hot in Mexico. Right? Aber auch wenn wir schnell, schnell, schnell weg müssen, ähm, wollen wir es natürlich alles genau anschauen, damit wir nichts übersehen. So, wir werden jetzt und jetzt noch von verschiedenen Leuten verabschieden. Zunächst mal gehen wir zu Joanne. Da ist ja auch Daniel gerade. Und dann sind wir so ziemlich auch an der Stelle, an der wir vorhin aufhören mussten. Hey, what's going on? Mm, um taking a look at this baby with hindsight. So, what do you think? Looks very cool. I can totally tell what you're doing. <laughs> Good, that makes one of us. But I like it. Of course, you, Daniel, you did inspire me. I love it! So, you guys leaving now? Yeah, just wanted to say goodbye. Ah, uh, that's sweet. <laughs> You're so sweet. Your brother is so sweet. Having you boys around was <laughs> the sweetest thing. Das ist heute anscheinend die sweete Episode. This is for all your help. Really? Whoa. That's great. Uh, oh, ein Wolf. Ziemlich cool. Do I get anything? <laughs> your name is on a way bigger sculpture. For everyone to see. That's true. I didn't think about that. Yeah, your brother needed a little something to remind him of the artist inside. Die man sagt, es ist nicht so gut von der Polizei gesucht zu werden. Da ist natürlich völlig recht. Äh, okay. Man sollte nie vor der Polizei wegrennen. Like <lacht> Thank you, Joanne, for everything. Just please take care of yourself and my special apprentice. No worries. We always do. Hey, is it okay if I hang out a bit longer? <laughs> if it's okay with her. Oh, are you kidding? I need more help. So long, Sean. Don't be a stranger. So, dann so much, Gehen wir mal zu dem Pärchen, obwohl ich nicht weiß, ob einer von David ist, denn wir sollen ja zu David gehen. Hi, Sean. Da müssen wir dann hey, guys. noch mal schauen. Wish I could be as cool and as wise as these guys when I get older. I came by to say adios. We're taking off today. No, you're not. Really? Everything okay? Yeah, just time to go. Well, shit. Wish you and Daniel could stay longer. Hey, 
Thanks. But the sooner we cross the border, the better. No worries. No worries? Bullshit. That's all we're gonna do until you make it. We will. Thanks to you. And everyone here. You gave us a place to breathe. Sean, I won't drag this out and get bitter. Besides, you and Daniel will be back to visit, right? We'll try. I'm glad this place will be our last U.S. memory. You and your little brother will always have friends here. And a home. <laughs> okay. I'm done babbling. I just hate goodbyes. I know you're both gonna have a great life in Mexico. You better. Uh, we... We're gonna make it work. Shit. I'm gonna miss you guys. Take care. You hear? Watch out for Daniel. Aw, big hug. He needs you. Be safe. And send us a postcard to the beach. Ah, Simon spielt weiter ähm, das Pokémon Weiß in das Log. Sehr cool, denn sind wir ja morgen wieder so ungefähr auf demselben Stand. It was always clear. It wasn't forever, honey. They have their own way to go. Denn das werde ich morgen weiterspielen, so ungefähr ab um 10. Okay, da keiner von den beiden ist David. Das heißt, wir müssen nach wie vor David suchen. Und ich bin mir nicht so richtig sicher, wer oder was oder wo David ist. Hope the cops won't smell the fresh paint. So, hier scheint er nicht zu sein. That's cool. Cheer me up. Eh. It's just empty houses and rocks over there. Dead. Okay, also da müssen wir nicht lang, denn okay, hier wohnt Joanne. Vielen Dank für das Kompliment, Simon. Ich habe letztens auch mal in deinen Stream reingeschaut, fand ich auch ganz, ganz unterhaltsam. Jetzt müssen wir nur erstmal David finden. This part of town is dead this time of year. Gut, da müssen wir auch nicht hin. should stay around here. Das macht natürlich alles etwas schwieriger. Water management is kind of a big thing around here. Denn es grenzt den Bereich zwar ein, aber eigentlich habe ich hier alles schon abgesucht.
Äh, David fragt, warum die ganze Zeit so ein Geräusch kommt. Was für ein Geräusch meinst du denn? Bin ich natürlich etwas nervös, dass ich hier da irgend, irgendein Technik-Fail habe. Kann das vielleicht doch jemand bestätigen? Äh, ist hier gerade irgendwas ungewöhnlich, irgendein Geräusch oder so, das da nicht sein soll? Dann sagt mir bitte Bescheid. Und vor allem würde ich gern wissen, wo David ist. So, da sind wir also nicht lang. I shouldn't wander away. We gotta leave soon. Da sind wir auch nicht lang. Wo, ist, wo kann denn dieser David sein? Wir haben leider auch keine Karte oder so, woran wir uns orientieren könnten. She said she might come before classes start. Awesome. Okay, dude. Just hope she'll Don't forget about David. Um, Natürlich cool, dass du mich erinnerst. Aber ich würde sehr gern wissen, wo denn dieser David ist. Okay, hier haben wir eine Karte. Aber so richtig hilft die uns auch nicht. <lacht> es ist wie gesagt, hier dem ist Stanley und Arthur. Hier lebt äh, ja, Karen. Hier lebt Joanne. Also Simon bestätigt nochmal, dass es hier irgendein komisches Geräusch gibt. Dem werde ich mal schnell auf den Grund gehen. Oh, ich habe erstmal nichts äh, festgestellt, aber anscheinend wird da ja irgendwas sein. Ich hoffe, äh, mir kann da vielleicht jemand weiterhelfen. Ah, okay. Äh, Simon meint, dass, dass äh, dieses Mute-Geräusch von Discord... Äh, ja, dafür muss ich mir vielleicht noch was überlegen. Ähm, es wird be weird to be back on the road with Daniel. After all this time in a community. Ich weiß noch nicht so recht, ob es nötig ist, äh, Discord neben dem Stream anzulassen, damit die Leute über Discord sehen, dass ich quasi gerade streame. Oder ob das keinen richtigen Effekt hat. Ähm Aber ja, daher kommt, kommt das Geräusch. Äh, dadurch, dass Discord nebenbei, an, nebenbei aktiviert ist. Jesus, aber wo ist denn dieser David? Das gibt's doch gar nicht. So long for barbecue and movie nights. Versuch's nochmal mit der Karte. Aber die Karte ist auch so blöd gezeichnet. Die bringt mir auch nicht viel. Und hier leben Arthur und Stanley. Hier komme ich zum Beispiel gar nicht hin.
Should go see what David wants now. Ist auch echt schade, dass es hier, dass es hier kein, ja, keine Mechanik gibt, die einem Tipps gibt oder so, wenn man nicht weiterkommt. Bestimmt ist es super einfach, David zu finden und ich stelle mich nur gerade super blöd an. Es ist aber das hier ist doch bestimmt äh, David Wohnwagen. David always wants to help. But he's tough to figure out. Okay, das ist Davids Wohnwagen, aber er scheint nicht da zu sein. Also müssen wir auch noch David suchen. Please, please don't let the cops come looking for us out here. Pretty smart. You're never gonna run out of sun in the desert. Es sei denn, es wird Nacht. Gut, wir wissen also, David ist nicht zu Hause. Dann müssen wir mal schauen, wo der denn sein kann. Okay, dude. Don't forget about David. Gut, da sind wir auch nicht lang. Die Alternativen werden immer weniger. Guess people came here with ease and never left. Joanne picks up all kinds of scraps from the desert. She even found a boat once. I love how they recycle everything into art, construction, or agriculture here. When we're in Mexico, we won't have to deal with this shit anymore. I miss those bus trips with Lila and the guys. What's the story with this one? Lila is übrigens seine beste Freundin in Seattle, die er ja ähm, hinter sich lassen musste, ohne sich von ihr verabschieden zu können oder oder so. Maybe we can find our own away in Mexico. Should go see what David wants now. Gerade würde zu dieser Situation die Rübelmusik passen. Ja, das stimmt. Aber ich finde allgemein die Musikauswahl in Life is Strange in allen Teilen ist eigentlich immer ganz, ganz cool. Äh, die finden immer irgendwelche schönen Indie-Musikstücke. So, ich werde jetzt aber folgendes machen, damit wir hier nicht äh, ewig rumsuchen, beziehungsweise ich das mal schnell ergoogeln und äh, euch blende ich so lange eine kurze Pause ein und bin gleich wieder da.
Okay, also laut dem Internet sollte das eigentlich ganz einfach sein und eigentlich sollten wir David an seinem Wohnwagen auch aufnehmen können. Eigenartig, warum das bei uns nicht funktioniert hat. Gehen wir doch einfach nochmal zum Wohnwagen und hoffen, dass wir ihn diesmal antreffen. Oder dass wir vielleicht irgendeine David always wants to help. irgendeine Gesprächsoption nicht gesehen hatten. I hope the UFOs are listening. Okay, dude. Don't forget about David. Ah. Gut, das muss einem natürlich auch erstmal gesagt werden. Sean. Hey. Karen said you wanted to see me. Yeah, but go grab that police scanner inside first. I gotta put these new plates on the car. Sure. Come on. I'll join you when I'm done. Aber gut. Kein, kein Stream ohne hilfloses Herumirren. I wonder where David got this police scanner. Okay. How does this thing work? Uh, okay. We gotta search between 140 and 160. Testing. Testing. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. So, also mit dem Polizeifunker können wir anscheinend äh, den Polizeifunk abhören. Jetzt müssen wir nur das richtige Signal finden. Still not the right one. Auch nicht. Come on. So wie ich früher, als ich ein Kind war und die OKW Radiosender eingestellt habe. 136. Ah. Is this it? Now we can spy on the cops all the way to Mexico. Thanks, David. You big rebel. Vielen Dank, Simon, dass du äh, gerne hier zuschaust. Mir macht das auch ganz viel Spaß. That must have been the best meal ever to frame it on the wall. Und ich finde es auch super, dass, dass ab und zu Leute zuschauen, die mitfiebern oder mir Hinweise geben. Cool Portraits. <lacht> Didn't think David had a taste for the arts. Dafür stehe ich auch gerne sonntags super früh auf und schmeiße den Stream an für euch. Arthur said David could fix anything. He hopes. As if money could make up for everything he's lost. Oh. Ach, ist das David Madsen? David Madsen kennen wir natürlich aus, ähm, 
aus den vorherigen Life is Strange äh, Spielen, Life is Strange und Life is Strange Before the Storm. Also da hieß, da hieß der, der Stiefvater von Chloe ja auch David Madsen. Aber ich werde gar nicht ich habe jetzt gar nicht darauf geachtet, ob äh, der auch so aussieht. Das wäre lustig. David could fix anything. <lacht> He hopes. Man wüsste jetzt gar nicht, warum der in die Wüste gegangen ist. Ach, das finde ich gerade echt einen coolen äh, Fun Fact. Wenn ich mich da jetzt irgendwie irre, sagt mir der gerne Bescheid. Mom's car is all ready to roll. Did you get the police scanner? <laughs> yep. And I found hey, the police frequency. Vollkommen How anders aus. Das hat auch eine andere Good Stimme. Job. Now, you'll always want to know what they're up to. No surprises on your way to the border. All right. This is the fastest route. When you get there, cross between these two stations. Now. You have to exit the main road and drive through the desert for a while. But Karen's car should be okay. You got all that? Hm. Aber es würde natürlich sure. passen, dass äh, Think so. er früher so, bei der Armee war und dass er eine aufmüffige Stiefschwester hat. Er hat Stief, Stieftochter hat. You only get one chance here. I'm not trying to be a dick. Just Honest. I know, David. Thanks. Ah, da hätte ich jetzt echt gerne eine bessere Erklärung gehabt. I don't mean to order you around. Bad habits die hard. And yes, I was suspicious when Karen showed up with you two. But after watching you and your little brother for a while, I think I get what you're going through. When our town was destroyed by that hurricane. Die Hauptstraße gibt es in echt. Ich habe den Namen der Hauptstraße gar nicht gesehen oder mitbekommen. We lost everyone else. Jeez. I'm sorry. I used to hate them for running away. They hit the road straight away, never to look back, while I was trying to rebuild. Did you stay in touch? Do you get along now? <laughs> yeah. Took me a while to acknowledge. The past was the past, and move on, like they did. Once I realized that, I reached out to them, and we made peace with each other. They stayed here for a while. It felt good to connect with my daughter at last. You guys remind me of them, in a way. And I don't want to fuck things up this time. Sean, I'm going to do everything I can to help you get out of here. That's my duty now. But I want to be straight up with you. Okay? Yeah. Of course. I know you guys got screwed. But you think nobody will ever believe you. But the truth is on your side. You and Daniel can't just hide out forever. Is that how you see yourself in 10 years? If you step up and face the law, you can be free sooner than later. Okay, also er will uns damit sagen, dass wir uns doch lieber stellen sollten.
da hat er natürlich auch recht, aber die Konsequenz wird natürlich sein, dass äh, er für mehrere Jahre ins Gefängnis kommt und äh, Daniel in eine Pflegefamilie oder so, also das sind halt auch keine schönen Aussichten. We've come too far now. We just want a new life. That's it. I understand. I do. I'm trying to be the adult. You're too young to be dealing with all this. And Daniel is growing up fast. Too fast. <laughs> That's what I'm worried about. You made it here. So I know you're on the right path. <laughs> oh. Uh, sorry. I really have to take this. Lustig, dass selbst in der hey, Wüste äh, Telefonempfang besteht. Ja, also mittlerweile sollte klar sein, dass das David Madsen aus den vorigen Life is Strange Teilen ist. Auch wenn ich mich etwas wundere, dass die Stimme eine andere ist. So, wir sollen mit dem Auto die Stadt verlassen. Eine Galerie. Okay, also er telefoniert offenbar mit Chloe. Chloe Price. Äh, Protagonistin der vorherigen Life is Strange Spiele. Ziemlich cooles Easter Egg auf jeden Fall. Hey. Oh, need any help? Just checking out the levels and cleaning up the filters. <laughs> That's cool. I think Dad was kind of bummed I never got into cars. That's all right. You just have to find your own passion. I have had plenty. Just not engines and stuff. More like art. And sports. <laughs> Esteban was obsessed with his engines. That doesn't mean you had to be too. Dad was a bit old-fashioned sometimes. He probably wished I was more like him. Listen, Esteban loved you and Daniel for exactly who you are. He would be proud that you're going back to his homeland today. Did you guys ever go to Mexico together? We talked about going, but never did. He said growing up there was hard, but he loved it. I don't know anything about Mexico. It's scary. Sean. You're carrying the weight of two people on your shoulders now. It's okay to be nervous. I'm just tired of running. Of causing trouble everywhere we go. Daniel's power is overwhelming, and we don't know where it comes from. But you do know your brother. You'll be there for each other. Yeah. Daniel's power freaks me out. I only hope he'll never have to use it again after we cross that border. Your brother sure isn't a little kid anymore. He had to grow up too fast. He wants to be equals, and you guys are gonna have to work together. He may even help you make it. Maybe you're right. 
You'll figure it out, like you always do. Okay. Better get back to my tune-up. All right. I'll make one last round before leaving. You don't shit where you sleep, kid. <laughs> okay, David. Thanks for the explanation. Ja, das klingt sehr nach uh, David Madsen. So, jetzt ist natürlich die Frage, was wir jetzt noch machen müssen. Sie will ja noch mal das Auto checken. Daniel, do you copy? It's time to wrap it up. Be right there. Over. So, did you get to say goodbye to away? Yeah. Kind of sad. I know. Are we leaving yet? We have to, Inanna. Come here. Mom, I, I'm gonna miss you. I'll miss you too, Danny. It was amazing to spend this time with you. I'm so damn proud of you both and what you're gonna do with your life. And if you ever need me, I'm just around the corner. Okay, Mom. Thank you. Hey, Lilith. Schön, dass du äh, noch da bist. Aber lass dich nicht spoilern. Wir sind kurz vor kurz vor dem Ende. Well, Sean, this is it. So, welche Entscheidungsmöglichkeiten haben wir denn? Ja, natürlich umarmen wir unsere Mama. Thanks, Mom, for being there. Thanks for letting me, son. Ich finde, es ist eine sehr schöne Charakterentwicklung, dass er erst so verletzt war von Karen. Und jetzt sich mit dir versöhnt hat. Ja, Lilith, äh, husch, husch in dein spoilerfreies Versteck. Hey, is something wrong? We're almost there, okay? That's the last time I have to say that. I don't care about that. So, what's the problem? What? What are we gonna do in Puerto Lobos? We don't know anybody. We're like strangers. How long can we live there? Das wird unser neues Zuhause. As long as we want. We have a house there. That's what Dad wanted, and I know. So, what are we gonna do for money and stuff? Oh, das sind natürlich gute Fragen. No worries. 
We don't have much, but we'll figure it out. Dude, I can't even speak Spanish. How can I make friends or do anything if I can't talk? I'll teach you, man. You think so? That's cool. You fit in everywhere we go. And we'll get to hang out, too. Um... Well, that sounds okay. I guess. Daniel... I get scared, too, you know? But we'll be... We'll be fine. Okay. I trust you. Schön stimmungsvoll, auf jeden Fall. Ich bin da aus den letzten Spielen eigentlich mehr so in die Musik gewöhnt. Aber ja, hier sehen wir natürlich äh, ja, Trumps Mauer. Dude, it's just a giant fence. Das Spiel ist ja aus dem Jahr 2018, also mitten in dieser eigenartigen Zeit in Amerika. Oh. Why would they arrest Mom? Why? Wurde also so they can give her shit. But she didn't do anything. Das heißt, wir müssen jetzt versuchen, über die Mauer zu kommen. Why can't they just leave über us den Zaun. They're going to. Once we're over that fucking wall. Ah, Simon, du solltest dir am besten die Ohren zweiten. Hier wird ganz schön geflucht. Hey. Sean, why would they build this? Well, you know, it's a border, man. Is Dad's house in Mexico going to be totally trash, or what? I'm sure it is. Shit. I didn't think there would be more than a barbed wire fence out here. I'm sure it is. Whatever. That's a good project for us, right? I know. It's gonna be super easy with my power. So, here we are, Daniel. It's so crazy when the when the this fence wall, the fence town, really so looks. Yeah. 
gefühlt 20 Meter hoch. You can do it. Scheint auch mehr als nur ein Holzzaun. Ja, sie man kann es schon ganz gut vergleichen mit einem Jedi, was, was der Begriff da hat. Und so wie Moses das Meer teilte, hat Daniel okay. den Zaun geteilt. Okay. Just breathe. Shh. Breathe. We did it. We fucked that shit up. <laughs> yes! <sighs> it's all thanks to you. It's gonna be all right now. You've done the hardest part. Thanks for taking me down here, Sean. <laughs> nah. We did it together, man. Come on. Let's go back to the car. Das ist natürlich ein super cooles oh, Bild, man. wie die beiden Händchen haltend äh, vor, dem, vor dem zerstörten Zaun stehen. Und ich finde das allgemein auch ein ganz schönes Bild, dass äh, während tausende Menschen... Oh. Daniel! Daniel! Daniel, talk to me! Daniel! Talk to me! Fuck. No. No way, not now. Daniel! Hey! Who are you? Did you shoot my brother? Hey, ah! Uh, ah! Uh. Oh shit, Madison. I told you it was a fucking kid. Get off of me! Get off of me! Well, Daniel! Is he? He's my brother! He's okay. Bullet just grazed Let him. Let me go! Do not move if you want to keep that arm. Comprende? Keep an eye on the wall. These fuckers blew it up so their friends can cross. Daniel! So what's the plan, huh? I bet there's a dozen more coming through, right? No! We're leaving! Going to Mexico, I swear! Wait, wait. You're trying to break into Mexico. <laughs> That's fucking funny. Fuck. Das habe ich nicht kommen sehen. Now it's not legal to blow up walls. That's called terrorism. You get it? Listen, it's a long story. We really are trying to get out of here. You can fucking skateboard across the border 10 miles away. So tell me the plan. That was not us. We have no idea how it happened. Hey, don't fuck with us, kid. You're the only ones around. Looks like no one's coming for now. Anyway, don't waste your energy. I bet the Border Patrol has a big plan for you, mister. Madison, come on. We have to deal with this kid. No. Still bleeding. Don't touch him. Get off! 
D don't move. Ugh. What? What the fuck? Get it off! Stop! Get it off! Jesus! What the fuck is going on? What? Where's Spencer? He's off duty today. Why? <laughs> Listen, uh, we have a deal. He knows. Yeah, I heard about this crap. Not happening anymore. Come on, Maddie. Do what the officer says. <sighs> Fuck! How old is he? He's all right, officer. Don't worry. Shut it! You're both coming with me to the station. What? Are you kidding? What? They're illegal! <sighs> Fuck's sake! What I say! Uh, okay. Uh, take a breath. You okay now? Daniel! What? I, I'm sorry, are you Sean? Oh. Sean Diaz? Schön verraten. You're under arrest. Fuck. Das ist ja alles schief gelaufen, was schief laufen konnte. Also das hat mich jetzt echt äh, kalt erwischt. Das habe ich so nicht kommen sehen. Krass. Ja, da hat sich Karen auch völlig umsonst verhaften lassen. Don't look at me. Estás bien? Sí. Yo soy Diego. Mi mi esposa Carla y este frijolito de aquí es um, es Ángel. Oh, Ángela. Encantado. Eh, soy Sean. ¿Cómo te sientes, hijo? Um, ¿Han visto un niño de 10 años? Es mi hermanito. Nos separaron uh, cerca del muro. Está herido. Lo llevaron a la enfermería. Si fuera grave, una ambulancia ya habría venido a buscarlo. Si lo dejaron aquí, quiere decir que está bien. Tranquilo, amigo. Aquí no hacen daño a los niños. Oh, super krass, äh, beklemmende Stimmung. Ich hoffe, dass Campbell's fast done mit dem Papierwerk ist. Dann sind wir raus und wir sind nicht zurück. Ugh, dieses Ort ist schrecklich. Was ist falsch mit diesen Leuten? Ich habe es nicht gesehen. Wissen Sie, wie viel Zeit wir hier lassen werden? Nein. Das ist die erste Mal, dass wir uns zu kämpfen. Ich erinnere mich an unsere erste Mal. Casi morimos de sed en el desierto. ¿Hace, ¿Hace cuánto tiempo pasó eso? Hace año y medio. El presidente era otro, pero los problemas de nuestro lado de la frontera eran los mismos. Es la tercera vez que intentamos cruzar la frontera. Y... No están cansados de intentar. No tenemos otra opción y seguiremos intentándolo hasta que crucemos. Queremos darle una vida, una vida mejor a nuestro hijo o hija. Los Estados Unidos no es el paraíso que esperan. En serio, mucha gente viene aquí 
pensando que van a vivir el American Dream. Pero muchos no lo logran. Sin embargo, tenemos que probar. Nosotros también merecemos un poco de esperanza. No eres mexicano, ¿verdad? <ríe> Se oye por tu acento. No. Eh, soy estadounidense. Era. No sé. Mi padre es... Era... Mexicano. Por eso queremos cruzar a México. Para empezar de cero. Enough now. It's America. We speak English. We're just talking. No, the problem is you people breaking into my country. We come here to work. Not, not steal or live at your, at your home. Diego. No, I am so fucking tired. You only come here to cause trouble. And we have to pay for your welfare. You all want a free ride. And that makes me sick. Puh, bedrückend, wie realistisch das ist. We only want work and, and, and in peace. Yes. An honest job and the ability to raise our child in a safe country. That's all we're looking for. <laughs> That's what you people always say. But the facts speak for themselves. Your facts are just bigotry and hatred. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I hate what you did to my country. Our borders, we have a right to protect our sovereign nation, and we will. Damn right, baby girl. You hunt us like, 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 like animals. I don't think I have a choice. I want the safest country for my children. See? You love your family like us. We don't go walking hundreds of miles in the desert and risking everything for no reason. We do it for our child. A mother must understand. Now you and your unborn parasite have nothing in common with me and my family. <laughs> what? Jesus. Natty. What you say? <laughs> oh, see? There you go. Take it easy. Siéntate, Diego. Solo vas a empeorar las cosas para ustedes. Tienes razón, amor. No vale la pena. Whether you people like it or not, we're not gonna give you a break. You're in jail too, loser. Why are we stuck down here with them? You know us. We're helping you, goddammit. Hey. You have the right to remain silent, so fucking use it, okay? All right. Diaz, you're up. How's my brother? Don't worry about him. Now turn around. Hands behind your back. Okay? Let's move it. Sit down. Where's my brother? He's doing fine for a kid who got grazed by a bullet. Lost some blood. But he's tough. They're taking care of him at the infirmary. You want coffee? Okay. Good. Oh, yeah, coffee right could you also buy. Fuck. Shit. Is it morning already? I hope he's all right. Great. Now I can put on a fucking show. Ah, Simon sagt, dass er das Spiel sehr gern mag. Uh, kann ich verstehen. Life is Strange ist eigentlich eines meiner Lieblings uh, Spielereien. Ist natürlich schade, dass du jetzt zum Finale erst einschalten konntest. Aber du kannst auf meinem YouTube-Kanal, uh, ich heiße Brahma. Kannst du die gesamte Playlist, das gesamte Spiel noch mal nachschauen? So tired of all this shit. No point in getting these off. There are cops everywhere. How am I gonna get myself out of this mess? Jetzt haben wir quasi 
No point in getting these off. Alles ausprobiert, was wir hier machen können. Ich glaube, jetzt müssen wir einfach warten. Shit. Is it morning already? Haven't seen Daniel since yesterday. You're going to stop it. Got it? There you go. Looks like you need it. Thanks. All right. Let's see. Hmm. Okay. Damn. Erst mal schön Schluck Kaffee trinken. No. Yeah. Shit. Coffee's gonna make me feel so much better. That's quite a crime spree. It's hard to believe what kids can do nowadays. Killing that officer in Seattle. Vandalizing a motel room. Caught in a, another weird explosion at a pot farm in California. Then you join a religious commune in Nevada. Hmm? Oh, which ends up burnt to the ground and We're not even halfway down the list. One of those things you could get away with. But not all that. Das ist eine ganz schön lange It's how crazy, but I can explain. Explain it to Agent Flores. She's on her way now. She spoke oh nein, to your mother. Doch, who took responsibility for the church fire. Das ist doch die Polizistin aus dem Krankenhaus, oder? That's not true. She had nothing to do with it, and you know it. But sure, throw another innocent in jail. I don't really care. <laughs> I bet she'd be happy to hear that. Listen, I feel sorry for you. I really do. But denying what you did will only make things worse. It wasn't my fault. All I did was try to survive. Yeah, I guess you did. You know, I read the report. You claim that Officer Matthew's death was an accident. So why didn't you wait for the police? Ja, tatsächlich, da hat er Punkt. Kann ich auch nicht. Also natürlich kann ich das nicht nachvollziehen, wie sich äh, ein äh, Amerikaner mit mexikanischer Abstammung no der Situation fühlt. Well, it's too late now. Your case is filled to the brim with evidence. Good news is, aber ja, wahrscheinlich wäre es die klügere Entscheidung gewesen, am Anfang einfach auf die Polizei zu warten. He'll end up with your grandparents, if they want him. But you're facing a shitload of years between bars. At least he'll get a life. Uh, what I don't get is how two kids can destroy so much stuff. I mean, anywhere you went, something blew up. Seriously. How? Those were just random accidents. Yeah, it's crazy. Er but sich aber auch nicht it just happens zurück. around us. Can't explain it. Uh huh. Listen, once is an accident. Twice is luck. Three times is enemy action. Whoa! Uh, What is that? Sir, I don't think you should keep your ass in that seat. Jesus. Sean! You okay? How do you feel? I, 
I'm okay. Just a little headache. Hold on. Dude, we gotta go. Hold up. Is he okay? I I wanted to rescue you, but I I had to use my power. I didn't want to hurt him. He's okay. Don't worry. Ooh. Hey! Get on. We gotta go. Get out of here. Who's got enough? Estoy aquí. Sean. Who are these people? Well, Carla and Diego. They came all the way from Mexico. And got thrown in jail for it. As for the others, they're the ones who tried to shoot you. What? They got locked up? Good. Oh, go to hell. Ich würde gern die beiden, die beiden befreien. Wo wir gehen. Shall we try to make peace with these morons? Wait, aren't you supposed to be in the hospital? You look like crazy people. I'm glad you're locked in. Uh, whatever. Get lost, kid. Come on. Let's get out before the fucking backup gets here. Sons. Shall we do something? Hold on. We're ah, gonna get you sehr out. gut. Ja, ich will auf jeden Fall die beiden befreien. Und die anderen beiden hier sollen schön hinter Gittern bleiben. That's it. Gracias. Muchas gracias. It's been me aquí until I check this out. Of course. Holy mother. How'd you do that? How? Wait, what the fuck are you? You think I killed him? No, no, he's okay. He's up for the count. <laughs> Good thinking, Daniel. Ah, Daniel has also gleich die Kameras. Zerstört. Oh fuck. Do not move. Wait, Sean. Stay back, Daniel. Let me think. Sean, what do I do? Quick. I gotta find something to stop them. I gotta get them. Don't say them now. They're dangerous. Be careful. Do it if we need to. Understand what's going on. I'm scared. Do something. Don't do anything. Crush them. Now. No. I don't want to kill them. No choice. Do it. What? Now, Daniel. Oh, okay. Okay, stop. I said. Ugh! I didn't want to hurt anybody anymore. You saved us. You had no choice. Now, let's bail. Our shit is still here. Fine, good news. Ich meine liebste Entscheidung. Ich glaube, in der anderen Entscheidung hätte das Ganze einfach kein Happy End genommen. Okay, but be quick. They must really feel threatened to put so much effort into this. After this. You're not gonna hunt shit anymore. Bet it belongs to one of these trigger happy people. Come on, Sean! We gotta go! We would be so dead if we didn't have Daniel's power. 
I hate that he has to use this for all this shit. Take it out, Daniel. Que Dios los bendiga. Okay, go, go. Also, Patrol, das ist jetzt Daniel. die amerikanische Seite oder ist das die mexikanische Seite? Weil Daniel und Sean wollen ja nach Mexiko. Adriana und Benny wollen ja in die USA. Schön, dass es dir gefällt, Dion. Ich finde äh, diese Episode auch ziemlich, ziemlich stark. They are considered armed and dangerous. Repeat. Are we still going to Mexico? Yeah. We got nowhere else to go. Okay, also offenbar sind sie immer noch äh, in den USA und dann sie sitzen ja wieder in ihrem Auto. Sean, it's the 4th of July, our first one without dad. You're right. Remember how he was so in the fireworks every year? He always made us go too early so we could get a good spot. I know. He is so corny. He said he was proud to live in this country. Sean, what are we gonna do? Sean! Sean Diaz! It's over! Don't make this worse! Get out of the car! Slow! Wave your hand above your head! Do exactly what I say! Safety first, erstmal den Schlüssel aus dem Zündschluss nehmen. Das ist natürlich jetzt keine kluge Entscheidung gewesen, äh, direkt genau in die Stelle zu fahren. The day Dad was shot. I think about it every day. And I would give anything to change what happened. I'm sorry for my mistakes. I tried my best. I swear. Sean. I'm so proud of you, Nano. Just like Dad would be. We both learned a lot together. But you can make your own rules now. If we surrender, they will separate us, Daniel. And if that happens, Promise me that you will always do the right thing, okay? Don't waste your power. Be smart like you already are. I don't want to be separated. Please. Don't make any more mistakes. 
whatever happens, always remember that you're Daniel Diaz. I promise, Sean. So, how does the story of the Wolf Brothers end? So, unsere letzte Entscheidung. Ah, ja gut, jetzt ist es auch egal. They make it to the other side. What? You sure? Trust me, okay? Just get us through. Hold on tight. Oh, fuck. I don't wanna. I'm not hurting anyone at all. Sean, open fire! Them. It's too late. They're shooting at us, Daniel. This is the only way. <laughs> Sorry, Sean, but I have to go. What? What are you talking about? Don't turn back for me. Ah. I hope you'll be happy in Mexico. Finde ich irgendwie auch eine ganz passende Charakterentwicklung, dass der große Bruder einfach dem Druck nicht mehr standhalten konnte und zum Glück äh, zum Schluss ja praktisch durchgedreht ist. Aber ganz cool, dass, äh, dass Daniel sich dann dafür entscheidet das Richtige zu tun und äh, quasi sich zu stellen. Da hat der also seine Kräfte eingesetzt, um was Gutes zu tun.
Mittlerweile ist Daniel also erwachsen geworden. von Daniel. Ach nee, er bricht für Daniel. <lacht> Entschuldigung. Schon hat die Sand geschickt aus Mexiko. Okay, offenbar ist das das Ende. Und mir hat das, mir hat das ziemlich gut gefallen. Also vor allem die fünfte Episode, die da hat er nochmal massig angezogen, was äh, Spannung, Dramatik betrifft. Und den Plot Twist, den habe ich auch so nicht kommen sehen. Von daher hat mich richtig reingezogen. Äh, hat mir wieder sehr viel Spaß gemacht. Ich hatte ja so in der Mitte des Spiels ein bisschen die Befürchtung, dass äh, das Spiel etwas abflacht. Speziell im Vergleich zu den äh, vorherigen Spielen. Aber ja, also mit der fünften Episode hat mich das Spiel wieder komplett überzeugt. Hat mir sehr viel Spaß gemacht. Schön authentisch die, äh, ja, die, die Synchronisation und die... Ähm, ja, die Umgebungen, wie sie gestaltet sind, sieht alles richtig schön aus. Alles schön äh, in diesem, in diesem, in diesem, äh, ja, Artstil. Und zum Schluss können wir uns natürlich nochmal ansehen, ähm, wie unsere Entscheidungen waren und ob andere an, sich anders entschieden haben. Okay, also tatsächlich haben die allermeisten sich äh, nicht dafür entschieden, äh, zum Schluss durch die, durch die Absperrung zu durchbrechen und nach Mexiko zu kommen. Da, wo sich Daniel dann dagegen entschieden hat und aus dem Auto gesprungen ist.
Also hier gibt es noch ein paar kleinere Entscheidungen, die wir uns auch kurz nochmal anschauen können. Aber ich will das Spiel auch nicht zu so sehr in die Länge ziehen. Äh, beziehungsweise den Part. Mal schauen, ob jetzt noch irgendetwas kommt. Ich würde gerne nochmal sehen, wie es, äh, wie es schon ergangen ist. Okay, offenbar war es das tatsächlich. Gut, ähm, wie gesagt, mein Vater, da habe ich ja schon gezogen, ein sehr, sehr schönes Spiel, Life is Strange 2. Ähm, soweit ich gehört habe, gibt es verschiedene Enden oder verschiedene Möglichkeiten am Ende. Wir haben jetzt eine davon gesehen, ähm, vielleicht nicht meine Lieblingsoption, aber ich fand sie ganz stimmig. Und ja, äh, wahrscheinlich so wie die anderen Teile werde ich Life is Strange 2 sicherlich auch nochmal spielen, mehrfach spielen, um einfach auch die anderen Enden äh, sehen zu können. Aber das soll es erstmal gewesen sein. Ähm, ich bedanke mich fürs Zuschauen. Äh, dieser Part landet natürlich auch auf YouTube und ich würde mich über Feedback freuen in den Kommentaren bei YouTube oder im Chat hier auf Twitch. Denn das funktioniert ja auch, wenn ich offline bin. Und so bleibt mir jetzt nicht mehr zu sagen, als äh, bis zum nächsten Mal.